Hi friends, I'm MTG and welcome to my channel where I waste my wild cards on meme decks so you don't have to. And today we're playing things a little bit differently where I was just kind of rocking with a, a Twitch stream. I was like, I don't feel like just being alone today recording. So hopefully that's fun. But also if you just hear me talking to chat, that's what's going on. It's not voices in my head. Uh, but I'm really excited to show you the new commander from Thunder Junction, Outlaws of Thunder Junction, whatever this new set is where Kamval is doing some really cool stuff with token synergies, where we're just draining people out. And I'm super excited to show you this whole heckin' commander synergy. So with no further ado, let's go check out the deck list and I will see you in a second. Before we get started with the gameplay, just wanna say thank you so much to our channel members and Patreons. Sapper Lane list is heckin' growing over here. So thank you all for your support. Tree Folk level, thank you Frosty K. I smell death on you. And thanks, hi, I'm Rory. Appreciate all of your support. All right, friends, today we're rocking Kambal Profiteering Mayor. They're three CMC, and whenever one or more tokens enter the battlefield under your opponent's control, for each of them, create a tapped token that's a copy of it, which is super powerful. This ability triggers only once each turn. So if your opponent is playing something like Ancient Copper Dragon, they roll a 20, make 20 treasure tokens, you make 20 treasure tokens as well. Yes, they're tapped, but you're still making a lot of tokens. And the other cool part about what this commander wants to do that initially made me go, whoa, I want this, is whenever one or more tokens enter the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. So this is huge. Something to note here is uh, I think initially I misread this and thought it was different, where if you make like 80 tokens, you're not draining your opponents for 80, they would you'd be making those tokens one time. So you're making the 80 tokens all at the same time, drains your opponent for one, not 80, just to clarify there. But if you make five tokens and then a separate instance make another token, then you're still creating the two instances of separate tokens at different times. So you would still drain for two there. I just want to call that out in case it was confusing with like later how I phrase things or anything like that. But to the synergy of what the deck wants to do here, I think this is really cool. So if we're using things like Bovine Intervention, uh, Fateful Absence, anything that's like destroy a creature, your opponent gets X tokens. You know what? It's really cool because now we turn that into value for ourselves. So in this case here, we make an Ox token, we drain our opponent for one. If we use the Get Lost one that makes two map tokens, we make two map tokens and we drain our opponent. So we're getting value as well. And it's kind of a really interesting synergy to see there. Two new cards in this deck that I thought were really cool. Uh, so if you didn't know, Imp's Mischief is now an arena and stuff like Mana Drain and stuff like that too. Very powerful spells that you might see from like Commander and Paper. So there's more protection out there and more shenanigans to do. And then a newer card too that I want to test out for just ramp is like Claim Jumper, 3 CMC, Vigilance, Enters the Battlefield. If an opponent controls more lands than you, you may search your library for a planes card. Then if opponents control more lands to you, repeat this process. If you search your library this way, shuffle. So I just think that's going to be like a cool rampy spell there. And then we also have things that I think synergize really well with like token decks that are like, you know, kind of weaker, squishier ones. So we have like Delaney Streetwise, but then we also have like Rosie Cotton of South where we're putting plus one counters on tokens that are, you know, triggering her ability and all that fun stuff. Uh, other things that are like some of my favorite token generators, we have like Wedding Announcement, Adeline, Myrail, all of those shenanigans, and then just your standard package for like good, you know, token support with like Tesa giving lifelink, Vigilante doubling up on death triggers, O'Hare doubling up on the tokens we make, and then we have sack outlets and blood artisty things for backup win cons. But yeah, that's the deck overall. Hope you find this really fun because I had a blast with chat on stream, and yeah, so. No further, just jump in the gameplay and I'll see you out there. Yeah, I saw this commander and I was just like, this looks gross. I have some really big ideas for what it would look like in paper. So I'm going to test some of those concepts out. Playing against the new uh, Magda, who I don't quite remember what they do. They're 2 CMC whenever you commit a crime. So target, I think anything. Create a tap treasure token. This ability triggers once each turn. Sacrifice three treasures. Create a 4-4 red scorpion dragon with flying in haste. That's pretty good. So I like that we have two little token buddies. What I'm scared about is not having another land drop. 
There we go. Three lands. We got removal. Ooh, black marking connections. I think we can keep this. We'll put in... Uh, let's just start with that since I don't want to have to wait till turn three for a swampy source. Even though we don't really have other swamp... Oh, no! Oh, nar. Okay. Well. Ragabons entered the chat. Hopefully they just get a land from us and not something good. <laughs> Meat hook for one. No! That's my favorite card! Ah. Uh, we've been bamboozled. We've been bamboozled. Okay. Let's put in Kambal and hope that they don't get anything else super spicy from us. This is our warm-up game anyways. Okay. What'd you get? No! I'm so sad. <laughs> right, Sester? <laughs> no! Oh, Nar. I like how I'm like, I'm gonna test out this deck. And then the first thing that happens is just stealing my favorite stuff. <laughs> it's okay. We'll probably meet Hook Masker. Um, they won't really do much with that Imp's Mischief. So that's a new card that is in Arena now. Not new card in general, but just new to us now. Uh, I'll start with going for some Bonky Poos, because we all like a good bonk. And the cool interaction is, at least when the Ragavan was making treasure, we made treasure as well. So I'm attacking with Kambal, wondering if they're going to have removal. Seems like they might have like a shock or something that can deal damage to Kambal, but I still think the play is going to be to attempt to meet Hook for two. But they might be able to remove Kambal here, just based on how they were hovering over them before. So, got rid of the Ragavan, and then I'm guessing they have something here to kill Cabal. Oh, they didn't! Look at me being the pessimist. I see where this is going. Warm up round. Yep. <laughs> but there's some really cool interactions I'm excited to show off in a second. I kind of want to just throw in Loran to get my uh, authority of the consoles away from them. Hurt my feelings, friends. So again, this is what's super cool about this commander, why I felt like I was surprised I didn't see more people being really stoked on them, is we just made two treasures because our opponent had two treasures. So that can change up a little bit of what we're looking to do here. So I'm actually going to put in the black market connection, and then I'm going to put in the bovine intervention, and I think I'm just going to hit the... Or do we want to do that now? I don't think they're going to trade, so we'll start here. And let's actually focus on land tax, because we have been missing land drops. And I'm feeling slightly comforted by the fact we have anguish and making and like other things in our hand that we can use to deal with any problematic creatures on our turn. There's their commander. And Authority of the Consoles would have been so sweet for us. Sadness on the stack. So we're making more treasures, which is super good for us. We're gaining life too from that. And then Black Market Connections is actually going to let us deal damage as well. So now we get um, a chance to remove like these problematic things. So we'll start with Land Tax. Let's get two Swampies. Swampy Poos. Wicked Sick. Okay. Sweet. And then I'll just do the card draw thing. Oh, sweet. Okay. So we'll start here. We'll hit... What makes the most sense? Let's hit this. We'll make a token. And then I'm going to anguish on making their commander. Sweet. And then let's do Loran. Probably could have sequenced that better. Probably should have put in the Loran first to hit the authority, so then that way Loran didn't come in, or uh, other stuff that we were trying to do didn't come in tap. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and bonk face. Boop. Probably a little ambitious there since they have five damage on board to hit us back, but 
<laughs> Never said I was responsible with my life total. You said that, not me. Woo, that sushi's quite good. Okay, so make two more. Gain some more life. That is silly synergy there. I love it. Okay. Boop, boop. There we go. Some bonky poos. Uh, so I'm going to say yes to the land tax. We'll do this. Boop, boop. All right. Ooh, it's a quick yard. Um, I'll just take the treasure. So it kind of neutrals itself out there. Um, let's put in the swampy poo. Let's get a vampire in. And I kind of want to put Yagmoth in. Hmm. Was that the right sequencing? Oketra? I don't know if Oketra is actually the better idea to put in. <sighs> Might have been. I was thinking Yagmoth so we could uh, reduce Atsushi a little bit. So let's do that. Okay, draw a card. Ooh, okay. And I'm not gonna attack because, you know, life totals are a thing. I'm gonna pitch this no covered swamp. Ooh, ancient copper dragon's huge. I don't think it has haste. Okay, strike your bridge. Uh, they're making a treasure token, so we'll make a treasure token. Actually, kind of great for us there. Pass. And they're probably going to attack with that sushi. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. So, I think I'm going to hope that they don't have a burn spell. We're going to eat this little ox. Draw a card. And then I'm going to do it again. We're going to eat the uh, Loran. Oh, again. That I uh, don't get shocked or anything. <laughs> That's going to do five damage to the face. And if they make the treasures here, I'm actually okay with that because then we get to make treasures and gain life as well. Okay, so the damage goes through. Welcoming Vampire hangs out. And again, if they make the treasures, I think that'll be good for us. The funny part too is like ancient copper dragons based on damage to a player and if they rolled like 20 with Kambal out we would do so much assuming it didn't, you know, the ancient copper dragon didn't kill us. That's kind of funny. Uh, I'll get you and you and you. Sweet. <laughs> well played, thank you. Um, I'm gonna do treasure. Gain a life. So, there we go. Let's do a Swampy Poo. And then I'm going to put in God Eternal Oketra. Sweet. And then I'm going to put in this Dillian Streetwise. And the goal here is I can make more Sack Fodder so we can use Yagma to reduce what Ancient Copper Dragon's doing here so that we might be able to block again with this Welcoming Vampire. So that's kind of what I'm looking for here. We're gonna draw a card. I also wanted to sequence it with uh, Delaney going in first just because, um, oh goodness, sorry, train of thought here, was to potentially get more triggers because creatures you control with power two or less can't be blocked. And if an ability a creature you control with power two or one, or power two or less triggers, that ability triggers an additional time. So the idea would maybe getting double triggers off of our little squishies here. What I'm looking at is to I think the better play honestly is just going to be to put in this Kaya's ghost form and maybe put it on the welcoming vampire since there are only flying block and ancient copper dragons still in play and then I don't think I want to sacrifice anything else right now 
so I'm just going to move to instep and just kind of keep up our guard against the ancient copper dragon doing shenanigans. So they're sacrificing some treasure, which means we get to make treasure. We're going to gain some life from Cabal's trigger here. So we gain two. So at least out of lethal range for ancient copper dragon. And again, the funny part here is if Ancient Copper Dragon did damage to us because they have the six and if they rolled like 20, we would also make like 20 <laughs> treasure tokens and that would actually kill our opponent. So that's what's a little bit silly here. Okay, so their commander's in play. And I don't want to risk letting the Ancient Copper Dragon hit me and have those things happen just because um, that way... You know, if they're able to blow up my commander or something like that and we end up not getting those triggers, then, you know, rather play it on the safe side. And we actually just made a copy of the dragon that we can block their dragon uh, next turn with. So, I'm trying to debate here what we want to use our sack fodder for. Okay. We'll gain another life. Oh, they might actually have lethal on us think on this. Okay, swing for four there. Okay. So here's what I think we can do. And hopefully it doesn't drain us out, but we'll see. We'll have Welcoming Vampire block the six damage. Declare those blocks. Then we'll have Yagma put a counter on that, sacking that opponent loses a life. Oh, we actually might just have lethal on board in general. Yeah, we actually did because of the Meat Hook Massacre. So right here, we had Meat Hook Massacre. We had one, two, three, four, five, six technically with the Kaya's Ghost Farm, which actually would have been enough to kill them before damage was done. So glad I saw that eventually, but GG's opponent. But this is just insane. <laughs> I love it. Many layers of synergy stacking here. Hope so. That's why I think like this commander in uh, paper would just be absolutely wild. Like just imagine paying like 10 for secure the waste and just draining everyone for 10. Or saw in half like a Gary, something like that. Uh, this feels super slow. I'm a little scared because we don't have any token makers. We'd kind of be dependent on what we top deck. I do like that we have three lands, but I think I'm just a little worried about keeping that. Okay, this is a lot nicer. We have removal, we have my rail, we have a token maker. All roads say keep. Just sass is fine? Okay, sweet. It's like, I know I should have asked you that like 5,000 years ago, but here we are now. <laughs> Thank you for always being awesome and so supportive, by the way. Okay, we'll do Snow-Covered Swampy Poo. I'm gonna put in one of my favorite cards. Or, is this Greedy? Nah, let's actually do... Ah, but they have open mana. What do y'all think? I mean, I might as well force out the counter spell here, so I'm just gonna put in Ball. Look at our little impatient friend here, starting with the Your Go. So sassy. What you so impatient for, friend? Are you on your lunch break? Is that what it is? Taking too much time? Inherited envelope. Mm, yes. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Mana. They're going to be at one, two, three. Let's disrupt their mana a little bit. And let's hit that. Okay. Let's go for the attack. I do want to be careful of playing into a potential board wipe here, but I think we should be fine if that does become the case. Yeah, no. Okay. So, not quite ramp, but it's something. I'm putting in authority of the consoles. And we'll go ahead and bonk face. Boop, 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 boop. Going down to nine. And then in step, we'll drain again. End turn. There we go. Four damage. Alright. 
we both draw. Board wipe to take action. Sweet. Um, let's start with my rail because I'm biased. Ooh, that's huge. Liliana is good. Alright. Oh, we hit a land drop. Let's English and making that Liliana. And then we'll put in this friend whenever a player casts their second spell each turn. Oh, I forgot that was happening. That was my B. My bad. Wasn't paying attention. Our opponent has a lot of thoughts, so I'm going to mute them because they're being a little rude. Let's board wipe. Gain more life. Sweet. Okay. Do do do. Their commander's back in play. Sweet. So put in these. And I think we have enough for Mondrak and the boots. Uh, maybe not both. Well, hopefully they don't have the removal for Mondrak. Okay. We will at least be able to recast our commander. Okay. Bold. Oh, that's very good. That's like potential one shot when you cast a non creatures. It boosts all your other. Or is it non creatures? Instant. Okay. Still very good though. Okay. If we had a little bit more mana to work with, it'd be a very different game. Oh, what's up, Lady Esmeralda? Um, I will block here, I think. Oh, I can't block. Okay, no blocks. All right. Seems good. Ooh, they pitched the shield. All right. Ooh, if we had our commander out. Oh! We won. I'm very curious why they scooped. Maybe they were on their lunch break. <laughs> but I think there is a chance, depending on how much damage they were going to be able to do, we recast our commander, equip the boots, and then we were, next turn if we stayed alive, do Horn of Valhalla. And that could have been super spicy as like a, I don't know, a bomb there. Let's go! Playing against Ziatora. Ooh, this will be tricky. I know they make treasures, which will be good for what our commander wants to do. But they're also dealing damage, so potentially able to blow up our command before we get the benefit. But let's keep this hand. It's not gonna be a turn one Esper, but I think we'll live. Okay. Let's do Bajuka Bog. Juke the bogs and then put in Esper. Tokens are always fun. Heck yeah. Glad you agree. I feel like I make a lot of token decks. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully our commander will stay alive. I always feel nervous putting them out without protection, especially if our strategy heavily relies on them, but... You know, can't be a coward all the time. Ooh, bolt of 18. We'll draw. Ooh, land drop. Stoked on that. All right. Ooh, more land drops. All the land drops. Let's do wedding announcement, because oh my gosh. Uh, we'll attack. Boop, boop. I'm not making the token, but I am drawing a card. And then I think, uh, depending on what they do next, we might put in Adeline. Okay, so they're ramping more, it looks like. Okay, sweet. We're not ramping. That's card draw. Okay. So I think we could still... Ooh, Ragabond getting dashed in. We make a treasure. Ooh, Padilla's Thunder for them is super good. 
Um, well, sweet. Now that can let us do all kinds of plays here. So we can destroy their up the beanstalk. And then put in Adeline. Or Adeline, however you say this card's name. And then now we can bonk face. Boop, boop, boop. Draw a card. Sweet. And if they don't have the board wipe, I think I'm going to drop this Reverend. Okay, Ragavan's entered the chat. So they must not have the board wipe. Commander has also entered the chat. Okay, who are you doing damage to? Esper, makes sense. Making the treasure. Ooh. <laughs> oh! That was very good for us. Okay. Uh, destroying their commander. This is stupid. No, I wanted to do the thing! <laughs> I wanted to do the thing! <laughs> I just wanted to drop this and do all the damage, but GG's opponent. So I might do this game and then one more after it just for the recording so I don't have to edit it a million things. And then maybe we can try building a new commander uh, together. That sounds fun to y'all. Uh, and I really want to be greedy and keep this. Is this a good hand to keep? What do you think? It's two lands. That's, uh, we'll be greedy. Greed for science. Clap, clap. <laughs> Thank you. We love funs and Kambal looks so fun, but my wild cards be lacking. Yes. Dang, nice. Thank you. Thank you, Sass. Yeah, the, the wild card economy is rough. I, I get that. I think um, you can unlock like a decent amount of, you know, coins if you do the daily challenge grind, but it also depends. Like, do you feel like playing this every day just to unlock the coins? But usually you can do, I think after like a couple of weeks, get close to like 15,000 coins, which can unlock a decent amount of packs. Sweet. Yeah, Imp's Mischief being in Arena is interesting. I haven't decided if I'm gonna like keep rocking this in every, you know, Swampy Poo deck, but I think it's always a nice layer of added protection. Ooh, that's good. No blocks. Okay, ooh, I'm glad we got another land drop. Unfortunately, it is a, uh, a tapped land, but... What do we want? Let's get another Swampy Poo. Swampy Poo. Uh, let's make Shadow Summoning. Do some damage. And YOLO! Bonk, because I feel like Savior is going to exile our Corpse Knight. Silent Poppy is why hello! I love Mana Drain, but from playing the card for the better part of a day in Brawl now, it needs to be banned. Good God. Oh yeah, it's that's a nightmare of a card. I was honestly really surprised to see it in uh, Arena. Should I be saving for the 50k multi-pack thing? I think it unlocks a decent amount of, you know, packs because it's really like when you open a pack, you get some wild cards back, which is nice. I personally enjoy it. Mm, we are not hitting our land drops. I was greedy. I let the greed get me, friends. Amanda. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm just going to attack with one. Silent Poppy's also said, I have yet to lose a game with, with it in my opening hand. Oh, I'm sure. The insanity. That is mana drain. Like, I have it in my Aluna Apex of Wishes deck, which is super fun. Oh, I don't know who subbed yet. Cosmo Wugenhagen? <laughs> I pronounced that correctly. Oh, Nar, my commander. I got so excited. Thank you for the sub or follow, whatever the terminology is in Twitch. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, it's not hitting other land drops. We have to get to like fair. It might be farewell or be sad. Fare thee well. But you know what? We won three games in a row, so I feel like that's karma. We, for the ways of the universe to, to balance out. Oh my God. <laughs> no. We can't even mess. Oh my god. Okay. Well, 
I'm accepting defeat on this one, friends. Back off. <laughs> I get rip land arenas. Yes. The great arena giveth lands and taketh land. Oh, well, I can't be sad about that. I love Blade Historian. The first time I think I hit plat in standard was uh, this mono white Dear Neptune Heliod deck that I built, and Blade Historian was like my main win con for it. It's a nostalgic card. GG's opponent. Alright. Last recording for Kambal after this. Can we do it? Alright. Orzhov v Orzhov. Ooh, Esper. And we have three lands and a token maker and the- Oh, okay. We gotta keep this. We gotta. We're legally obligated. I don't make the rules, friends. I just enforce them. Esper Sentinel. We'll do Concealed Courtyard next, so that way you can enter untapped. Satara, the Infiltrator, is one I want to build around. I know I've seen it. I cannot for the life of me remember what it does. Concealed Courtyard. Ba pow Does it sound more threatening when I say pa pow I'm going to tell myself yes, whether or not y'all agree. <laughs> Uh, he gets to draw a card when you play a spell without casting it for zero mana. Ooh, that's interesting. Oh, Blade Reforged has traumatized me. I know, that might be stupid to use, but... <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna deal with that now. Uh, I'm gonna put in a Catcher's Monument so we discount our creatures, but then also this is gonna be real good for uh, our friend here. And Clam Jumper, I'm excited to test out what it's like for ramp in white. Since we are playing Orzhov v Orzhov, it shall be interesting. Uh, let's do Kumbal. Okay, and do this. Let's get this friend in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Make another friend. Do some more drain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So making tokens doesn't work. You don't know. Oh, I think it's technically when a creature enters the battlefield if it wasn't cast or no mana was spent to cast it. Oh. That would make sense why tokens wouldn't work for that. I'll have to check it out after this. Flowering tree. Seems good. Ooh, welcoming vampire. Okay. I'm going to shock this in. Because we're all about shocking. I really don't like overplaying my board when the opponent doesn't have as much going on. And if we don't have a lot going on ourselves as far as rebuilding... But today we're going for the full greed. Ooh, black market. Okay. Well, now we kind of do have the means of rebuilding. I'll see if they want to block that. They don't. So maybe they don't have the board wipe. This is baddie bonkers, friends. Ooh, the means of production. <laughs> is that the right use of that quote? <laughs> Shadow sphere seems good. Okay, this friend in. And if we put you in, we make four. Uh, I'll put in black market. We can save the uh, the other shenanigans. Let's do shadow summoning. Draw a card. Okay, we hit our land drops at least. So we attack here, attack here, attack here. Does that make sense? They gain life if I attack with the one ones. Does that, it would kind of net neutral itself out and then yeah, so we don't need to attack with our 1-1s. One we'll just do this. Okay, so them not blocking again tells me they don't have the board wipe, but who knows, maybe they drew it this time. Black market's gonna get blown up here. Okay, so Taro specifies non-tokens, so, non so not tokens to trigger their ability, gotcha. The lands from last game have come to visit, right? <laughs> Irina felt bad. It said, oh, sorry, we forgot you needed lands. Here you go, friend. Okay. Okay. So, YOLO. We're doing everything. YOLO. I didn't math. Who wants to help me math? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So this is what I was thinking of as like a big win con for this deck. 
Boom. And then... Boom. 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 Can we just keep going? Do, 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 do. Does that make sense to do? Do I need to keep going? Sorry, I'm trying to do math and I'm embarrassed to try to do it in front of all of you. We'll attack here. And if I they block here, they gain five back. Am I gonna net neutral more out? I don't think so. I can't tell. Who wants to help me math? Math is hard. Okay, so we have two, five here, right? And then we have one here that's blocked. So they go up to 12. You know what? I'm done mathing. We're doing it. YOLO. <laughs> when math equals too much time, do bonk. Then they gain five, so they're down to three. Okay, so that was worth it. Now they lose one, down to two. Ooh, eternal longer. You Lincoln. I'll finish this here and now. Okay. Seems good. Seems good. Take action. Well, I'm glad I bonked with the bonkers I had. That was a real sentence I did say. <laughs> glad I bonked with the bonkers I had. Uh, no blocks. Okay. Ooh. The disrespect. Choosing all modes. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Um, let's go to combat. Attack here. I don't know why I made this token just because now I'm going to blow it up. You know what it was? I didn't math. Math coming back to get me, friends. Okay. Let's get Ophiomancer back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Might as well put this friend in. Okay. Snake. I acknowledge that I made a token for no reason that caused me harm. <laughs> I understand that was a miscalculation on my part, but I did it. <laughs> and I slurp water out of a giant mason jar because I left my water bottle somewhere. Either FedEx or Jim has acquired a water bottle I've had for like eight years. Exactly. Exactly, Lady Esmeralda. I just enjoy seeing tokens. I'm just really excited when I see a token. They do have the Shadow Spear. That's a big problem, so I think we have to try to win on our turn. Oh, nar! Okay, friends. So... All they have to do is equip the Shadow Spear and they win. So we take the damage here. That's going to be five. We go down to six. So either way, unless we top deck like a removal spell, we're going to die unless we figure out what to do here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. We can put in this land here, but we might not want to put in that one. So let's start with ball. Okay, so here's the other thing I'm thinking is we have to equip this horn. If they don't block, they die. If we make one, two, three, four creatures, we put in you. Do we have enough to equip? We don't have enough to equip. So we put in this, we put in you. It costs three to equip, three to equip. Okay. 
We put you in, we have enough to equip. Okay. Okay. Now we equip to Death Touch Snake. The opponent has to block because it's lethal. The opponent gains 20 life. The opponent still has to block. Okay. That bought us a turn, possibly? Okay. Opponent's back up to 25. Whew! Your favorite token is Ugin's Nexus tokens. Have I seen that one? Oh, the manifest ones, right? Destroy evil? Oh, come on. Kumbal's not evil. They're just misunderstood. Well, they haven't recast their commander, so that gives us more time. Okay. What do we think they're getting with that? A board wipe? Or a removal for my rail? What do you think, friends? Ooh, Soul Cleaver is very good. It also reads that if a player were to take an extra turn, they skip that turn. Ooh, that is quite good. Uh, I'm not gonna make the other token friend. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's put in the Phyrexian Tower. Let's put in O'Hare. Make a buddy. Okay. Put in this buddy. Does that make sense, friends? Don't tell me if it doesn't. I'm scared. Am I doing it? Okay. 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 <gasps> scared. What do you think, friends? This is a really close match. I'm sure I made a misplayer five there, but. Nar! Okay. Oh, Nar. Take action. Where are our board wipes? Hmm? Hmm. I have, like, so many- I guess I did play Blood on the Snow Snowsuit earlier. Woo! Woo! Smothering, Tithe. Guess we gotta do the, the thing here, or we lose. Ugh. Okay. I think we lost. <laughs> so we put in the commander, and what? We possibly make a token. It's not gonna be enough to drain here. They're gonna have Trample. So it's a 36, 36. What happens if we flip you? Is it worth it to flip you? Because you're going to be tapped. And you can only do it if you attack with three or more things, which we can't do. So let's do Mangara. We're just dead. GG's. We tried. Those, those board wipes. We got a bamboozle. But you know, that was a cool match, so I can't be sad about that. That was a heck of bamboozle. It's overall a terrible card that is hard to use, but if a deck can run it, it's fun because it's neat. Exactly. You know what? That's the only reason why you need to run any card. Whenever people are like, why do you run this? You should run this. Like, I've literally just been like, you know what? It's a fun card. It makes me tee hee hee. I want it. And if that's all you want in life, because it's a game that you're supposed to have fun with, then that is okay. You are 100% valid, friend. G heckin' G's. Well, those were some fun matches, I think. That one especially was really interesting. I think if I had like some sort of board wipe protection, like the Fairies Pro or something, we could have turned that around a little bit differently. Or if I had more board wipey stuffs, but that was pretty cool. All right, friends, I hope you had fun watching. I had a blast with all of this. Like, I don't know, every game was really fun. It was fun just hanging out with chat and streaming. Um, for cards that I think deserve some MVP shout out, we had quite a few really highly synergistic cards. One of the main ones being this Oketra's Monument. 
the discounting creatures, but then also making tokens was huge. The other thing that really stood out, at least in my test games that we didn't get to see here today, was again, Rosie Cotton of South Lane. So good, just putting the counters on stuff, especially our commander, or other things that we wanna just, I don't know, protect and keep stronger so they don't die to like, you know, a million massacre worm triggers there and stuff like that. So there's just like a lot of really cool synergies with that. And then Merkwood Bats, I think is really fun as well because, you know, we're finding other ways to like double up on what our commander is trying to do here. But also if we like sacrifice treasure tokens or anything like that, then maybe we're getting even more value. So overall, this deck was a blast and I'm definitely building it out in paper after all the shenanigans I got to do today, which is fun because then I get to, I don't know, use some cards that have just been sitting in the rare binders. But for those of you watching, let me know what were some really cool cards that you loved for this commander or what do you think will synergize really well because I'm so excited. But yeah, with no further ado, I hope you all have a lovely heckin' rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.